Hi everyone, this is Josh Stella, co-founder and CTO at Fugue. Fugue is enterprise cloud security and compliance developed for engineers by engineers. Today, I'm going to take a minute to give you a tour of Fugue. Okay, let's get started. In front of you is the Fugue console, and in this console, you can see several environments we're gonna walk through today from a compliance-focused environment to drift detection and finally self-healing. Before I dive in, everything I'm going to show you in the console is also available via API for automation. So while I'm showing you the graphical uh, interface to Fugue, all of this can be integrated with your CI-CD pipeline, your configuration management database, your ticket tracking system, you name it. So here I've gone into the compliance environment and selected the Fugue Visualizer. This is a unique capability of Fugue where we can capture all of your uh, cloud configuration and give you a nice interactive diagram that shows you not just the layout of that infrastructure, allowing you to do discovery of things like your VPC networks, internet gateways, subnet security groups, S3 buckets, etc., but also whether those components are actually configured properly according to the compliance libraries you've selected from Fugue that are baked in. So here we have an elastic load balancer that is not in compliance. Let's take a look at why. We just click on it on this uh, visualization and we can see here we want uh, HTTPS, uh, access logging should be enabled, cross zone load balancing should be enabled according to NIST and SOC 2 across these. And of course, because we give you that ID, uh, this gives you the ability to quickly go to either your infrastructure as code or uh, straight to the AWS console to correct things. Let's take another view of this compliance environment just to look at the configuration in a little more depth. Here we can see we have about 700 resources that we've scanned. Uh, most of them are compliant, but uh, 23 of them are not compliant. Here we have selected CIS, NIST, and SOC 2 compliance families. These come in the box with Fugue. And we can narrow these down to just failures, for example, and perhaps just NIST failures. And similar to the visualization, we can show you here what are the problems according to that uh, compliance family with your infrastructure. But here we're showing it across all the different resources that have the issue instead of with the visualizer uh, showing just resource by resource. So all these views are available in Fugue. You can also view by resource type. So show me any DynamoDB tables and anything that needs to happen there. You can see a lot of the depth of Fugue here. CloudWatch log groups should be encrypted with KMS CMKs. Uh, you should have point in time recovery. Uh, you should have uh, you know, all of these features turned on according to these different compliance families for that DynamoDB table to be safe and in compliance. And of course, we can also show by individual resource every detail of which are compliant and which are non, which is really important for things like audits. So let's talk about another use case, in this case, uh, drift detection. So Fugue is great at showing you where you're in or out of compliance, but once you've established a known good, what we call baseline of your environment, a configuration that is acceptable to all parties, the DevOps folks, security folks, you can establish a baseline. And you can do that just by clicking a button or hitting a single API endpoint. That baseline is a complete configuration of that cloud environment, all the details, all these different resource types and services, Fugue is capturing a known good configuration of those, which allows us then to detect drift from that baseline. So this really helps with eliminating false positives in terms of you know, what you're tracking and what tickets you're getting. So here we can see a number of uh, events, uh, drift events mostly here. Uh, Somebody added an uh, uh, AWS IAM role. Well, that can be an alert. The detail, this, in this case, it's a, a service role. In other cases, we might have modifications of things like security groups. So here we had a security group go from two ingress ports to three ingress ports. Well, that's interesting. It went from 80 and 443 to 80, 443, and 22. 
uh, which as you know is SSH. So that's, that's a good thing to catch. I'm showing these here on the console. These can also be sent to you via notifications over email or SNS topic. It's really easy uh, to establish a baseline and it's really easy to establish a new baseline when you want to make changes. So the final environment I'm going to show you today, and by the way, these are overlapping on the same infrastructure for different use cases, is baseline enforcement, or what I like to call self-healing. So here we've established a baseline, but we're only doing it over VPCs, S3, and security groups. So we only have 31 resources of eight resource types. We're not looking at compliance libraries here. We're looking at drift detection, but we've also asked Fugue to do baseline enforcement. And so baseline enforcement you can turn on by just going into the environment and selecting this checkbox or by making a single API call. And what baseline enforcement will do is use Fugue's advanced state engine to automatically remediate any drifts that happen, to fix any problems as they arise and return things to the baseline. And you have to write zero code for this. So here you can see a VPC was modified. It had two tags and somebody removed those tags. And because Fugue has that complete environment captured, uh, then within a minute, Fugue had replaced those tags. And again, zero lines of code, no writing remediations needed. This is available for all the different resource types, over a hundred on AWS, a great many on Azure that Fugue supports out of the box. It takes just a few minutes to get up and running with Fugue. And you can get started with a free trial in a few minutes. You'll have full visibility into the security and compliance posture of your AWS and Azure environments. Thank you much for your time.